So great. As you arrive here, just know you're welcome. And the cool part about Unicorn Church is that there's no denomination that we are here just coming together to actually celebrate our differences and and have some amusement in our life. Um, if you've been to church before, you know we use non-conventional texts and teachers. And we'll, um, every church, we, we teach you some creative cursing because we find that that's a real good energy shift. So that's always like worth waiting for. So don't leave before that. And then at the end, we'll pull a card and get a special reading, kind of like a tarot reading, but it's um, the Unicorn Church's own varieties, Reverend Lunch Lady's special uh, gift, let's say, that um, we pull a recipe card and we get the wisdom of the dead old ladies in the sky, the lunch ladies in the cafeteria of love above, and we're going to get a special message for our week, which is really cool because then we get to do um, something. And so if there's anything that you are needing support on or or struggling with too, you know, feel free to share what it is that that's coming up for you in the comments because perhaps that will, you know, influence part of the teachings today. So very special morning. Yes. Yeah, she's right there. Three babies, adorable. So, okay, so as you arrive, just come together in the circle. So, you know, removing any distractions right now and, you know, what would it take to give yourself this time and space this morning to come into meditation together? And I like to just imagine all of us coming into the circle and you can do a gesture of holding hands. And, you know, if you need to use that uh, virtual hand sanitizer after that is totally <laughs> fine and understandable. But right now, just imagining holding hands together and imagining the circle of people coming together from all over the world. We have, we have members all over the world and I'm so grateful for that. So just noticing as you hold hands, noticing how it feels to Bring your awareness to this energetic connection that we all have. And, and as you notice this energetic connection, you become aware of how receiving this support together today nurtures your body and your being. So noticing the sensations in your body as you're aware of connecting to others all over the world, coming together to share in the unicorn gospel and receive new points of view, ideas, um, spiritual sparkle to support you in creating the greatest in your life, in being able to receive more than ever before, in being able to have that relationship with yourself and others that nurtures your highest good. Creativity, consciousness, love, connection, honoring, vulnerability, intimacy, all of the things that are you as a being. And as you do that and feel this connection, any distractions, fears, doubts, just naturally melt away. They naturally melt away, allowing the truth, the love, the 
the power that is you come forward and be present in your body noticing as you bring the attention to the love and the energy that is you the truth that is you which we call in a kundalini yoga practice our sat nam you can even take a couple breaths imagining inhaling sat and exhaling nam sat nam which means connecting to my true essence connecting to my true essence which has no labels no definitions no titles no need for definition at all it's just that energy space and consciousness that is you and that is the most powerful thing that is the guiding factor of your life and are you willing to be so daring as to listen and trust and receive all that comes from that space inspirations nudges whispers so continuing to breathe breathing in sat breathing out nam deepening that breath if you would like breathing in sat breathing out nam Breathing in, sat, breathing out, nam, connecting to my true essence, honoring it, celebrating it, acknowledging it. And on the next breath, inhaling deeply, and as you exhale, your eyes begin to open and you arrive back and coming out of the circle, taking a moment for your virtual hand sanitizer, if that feels comforting to you. Um, Jillian says, Larry's voice is fading in and out. I hope that's um, not still the case. So let us know um so so glad you're here so um should we open with our baby animal sponsor yeah so unicorn church always has every week a sponsor from um some baby animal because we know the magic of the baby animals is that it creates this like oh this giddiness that is super healing and today's is really extra. I mean, I, I can't even stand it, really. Today, we are sponsored not only by Big Happy Love and the Enlightened Gut, which sponsors church every week, too, and Carl, and Carl Johnson Insurance, which he is here. Michelle, you'll be glad to know Carl showed up for church today. He didn't last week. I don't know why. Um, unfortunately, he showed up after rolling in some random goober in the yard. So... I don't feel like picking him up. <laughs> um, so baby cheetah is our, our, oh my God, cuteness overload sponsor. Just let yourself receive that magic of, ooh, oh, yeah, oh, cute, cute, cute. Like the adorableness that is that like sacred sweet energy that, really hits you at the core which just brings you so much love in your body and being and when you are tuned into that cuteness and the love then your cells are remembering that this is a cute 
for you. And when you are in love, how can you not be in love with that? When you are in love, you can attract more love. So how did that feel? Hi, Maya. Oh, yay, yay, Carl is here. Yes, if he naturally shows up up front, we'll, we'll show you. Um, so we want to go into our um, song. It's kind of like a hymn mm -hmm. when we do these songs. It's like gives you a chance to use your voice. And really, that is so amazing to be able to hear your own voice is powerful, especially when we're doing affirming messages in the songs, which most of them usually are. So, so today we're singing one that's a call and response. So I'm going to sing the first part. Larry's going to do the response and you can do whatever you want. You can sing both or you can be doing the call or the response, but um, it's kind of cool because you'll get to learn it along the way. So we're gonna do a couple different rounds. So I'm just gonna tell you the words ahead of time and then we'll sing it. So it's, oh, and there are also gestures that go with it. So um, in Kundalini we, Yoga, we call this celestial communication, which is really fun. So this one is relax, let go of it. Relax, let go of it, and then None of this is yours to hold. None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. So you want to like let your arms come up and really like expand. You are an infinite magical being. And all of this is here to teach us how to love. And all of this is here to teach us how to love. So we will just follow along with that and um, I'll sing it. But I will say that, honestly, when Michelle reminded me of this song this week, I was so aware of how it's so perfect for these times. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like it was written for these times. And I found that this, this song becomes a good earworm. And when something is just automatically singing in your head, throughout the day it's it's really really powerful because your whole body is being that so so let's begin one two three relax let go of it none of this is yours to hold none of this is yours to hold relax let go of it None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. You are an infinite And all of this is here to teach us how to love. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. And all of this is here to teach us how to love. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. You are an infinite And all of this is here 
that teach us how to love. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. And all of this is here. That teach us how to love. Now we're going to do it one more time. And when you do this, really feel it for you. Make this, just jump into it and give this to you. So anything that you're aware of, even if you're not really sure, it may be just like a feeling or an annoyance or something, let it go. Like really let this time be affirming you in your experience, okay? So relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. Relax, let go of it. None of this is yours to hold. You are an infinite magical being. You are an infinite magical being. And all of this is here to teach us how to love. So just being with it, staying inward, giving yourself this space an awareness of your infinite being, of your infinite being here for love and loving and caring and kindness of you with you. That's going to be the place to start. When you can do that, then it naturally ripples out into all of your Choices. And we got some good contributing bulldog snores. Oh. Yeah. So it's you a, haven't been here before and you're hearing log sawing that is um, resonant vibration. A couple different bulldogs here. Yeah. So, okay. Awesome. All right. So we are going to move to our sermon for today. And um, as usual, you know, we are using our non-conventional texts and teachers. And um, last week, you know, and this week are kind of tied together. They're from the same library of um scripture and um this one is quite amusing you've had some fun with this one this week yeah and i think some of you may recognize it from your um grandmas or parents or moms um and this one comes from the better homes and gardens holiday cookbook for special occasions yeah so you know when is it not a special occasion? Every day gets to be a special occasion if you choose. Um, so I don't know. I don't even know what's coming right now, but we're just going to dive in. Um, to, we're going to be, it's page 66, and the section is called Sugar Plum Surprises Candies for family, friends, family and friends. No gift is more welcome than candy from your own kitchen. Now, which good recipe will you try first? Fudge, toffee, 
pralines. Remarkable fudge, well-named, you'll see. Sugar plum surprises. No gift is more welcome than candy from your own kitchen. Mm. You know, really, that is such a true thing. Like, what is it about you that maybe you've sort of assumed is just so easy for you, so part of you, so just what you do that you're not even aware that that is a gift for another. So no gift is more welcome than candy from your own kitchen. Kitchen. So I'm wondering what that candy of genius is that's part of your world, your being, just your satnam, the essence of you, that is the gift that the world needs. And the only way to really get there is just to begin to acknowledge who you are and who you be and all of that that is you on a regular basis. You know, being able to actually welcome yourself. You know, some of the things that, you know, I think we've had this occur a lot just in, I think that it's helpful in relationship because other people can see those things in you that you just don't even recognize because they're so part of your everyday experience. Like I know for, for me, when I see you in your um, work and working with people and helping your patients that you have a really powerful presence that is just healing in itself. And that it's beyond like doing chiropractic or coaching, but the presence of you is such a gift. And sometimes we can get into a thing where we think we have to do it or prove it or show it or define it or name it. And like, you know, make something happen when, you know, how much of the gift that is you is really part of your presence or part of the thing that's just naturally easy for you. And that's, that happens a lot. Like when, when people, I remember when that book um, came out, do what you love and the money will follow. I think the beauty of that book is that, you know, most people think doing what you love is not what you can get paid for, that doing what you love, well, that's just a hobby or that's just what I love, but um, it's not like that gets to be an actual powerful space. So any of you who, you know, maybe your, your job has changed because of all this, or maybe you know, you're just kind of aware that you want to do something else. Like, what are those things that are so easy that um, you think, oh, well, it's too easy. Like, you've just, where have you decided that, um, you know, your gifts in work or in how you make money have to come from efforting and, and hard work and, you know, difficulty, like what if it could be so easy and you could receive money from that? I definitely didn't expect this sermon to come out today. First thing I thought of when I heard we the first gift is eat from your own kitchen is though is if when you're practicing self-love, love for yourself. Mm -hmm. then you can be in a state to be others. Yeah. So you have to yourself first. You mm -hmm. have to in order to be able to then reach out and have that 
feel and love others. Yeah, I think that's really true. I will uh, add to that around relationship stuff since I work with so many um, people looking to create meaningful relationships that, you know, when you have that, you know, sweetness, I love this from your own kitchen. When you have your candy from your own kitchen, that like self-love, um, sweetness and kindness and caring mm -hmm. for yourself, that intimacy and vulnerability with yourself, then guess what? It's much easier to discern when you're dating who's not right for you because, and it doesn't have, then it doesn't become a drama or it doesn't have to be taken personally. It's just like, you know what, you know, this isn't, this isn't more fun than just me being with me, <laughs> you know, like you want to follow the energy of experiences that are actually contributing in, in a way to your life. So I'm noticing that a lot with my clients that are in that second phase where they're they're putting themselves out there and dating and that, you know, the willingness to just say, you know, this isn't working for me. Next, 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 mm -hmm. you know? And so you're creating sweetness in your own kitchen. You're not putting the demand on someone else's kitchen. And they want right, <laughs> right. Yeah, because you can make, you can make the remarkable sense. fudge because you are remarkable. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I love that. Sugar, let's show the pictures because they're like, look at that would be that's that's Michelle, that's Dawn, <laughs> that's Amber. <laughs> and then the and then the, the women your oh. own creative. It's elevating it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Oh, thank you. Better Homes and Gardens Holiday Cookbook Special Occasions. What year was that one? This one is from 1959. Wow. Anyone, anyone relate to that year? Graduated from high school, born, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Um, it's close. So, uh, okay, so what's next? Recipe. Is it recipe? No. Is it person? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is second to last. Okay, so, everyone, we're at that place. Okay, louder, Dr. Larry, please. Louder. Here, we'll okay. pull it in. Okay, so. it, his voice doesn't carry as much as mine does. Um, Use it speak from there okay so creative cursing a special part of church i don't know you know maybe there's other churches that do this i haven't personally seen it we haven't I'm seen sure. it but you know maybe but um i would be happy if we were the only church that taught their congregation how to mm -hmm. swear better mm -hmm. you know because this is a powerful energy release. Yeah. You know, we've talked about this every week, but like, you know, words are really powerful. And I feel like when you are consciously swearing, then you're giving your body a release. It's kind of like laughing and crying. Laughing and crying both kind of do the same thing in a way that it's like a really great release if you've ever been so stressed and then some crazy thing happens and you just can't stop laughing it's like your body just releases releases i remember when i was working in co corporate world and i was just so stressed out i was just like my whole body was so tense and then the guy sitting across from me in the cubicle next to me was talking to someone about his ford super duty and it's a truck apparently but he was like talking about his ford super duty it just hit me so just right like i could not breathe i was laughing so hard over <laughs> ford super duty which is like you know whatever but i laughed 
probably like 20 minutes straight, like crying, couldn't breathe. It was very uncomfortable for him. Okay. He was like, it's a vehicle, you know? <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it was partially probably my inner fifth grade boy laughing because it was super duty. Um, yeah. Oh, duty. Yeah. He talks about poop a lot. Um, anyway, um, what was the other thing I wanted to share about this? Oh, so laughing releases, but also crying. Like I know um, sometimes it's easy to like have a, a moment of tears and and think, oh gosh, like I'm so sad and blah, blah, blah. it's like, if you didn't have to like make it a drama or a trauma, like can you allow your body just to release? Truly like the tears, the water, the release, the the things that happen in that, can you give yourself that space to release? It's really mm -hmm. powerful. And mm -hmm. so often we think, oh, okay, I shouldn't be crying. I shouldn't be crying. We try to hold back, but it really is a, an amazing gift that our body gives us. So I encourage you to cry. So, okay. So the way we do this, it's, a, you know, it's a mix and match and Larry picks one side, I pick the other, and then we'll share with you before we even read it what the swear is. So get ready, and then we'll we'll all come together and we'll repeat it three times out loud. So, okay, you got one? Okay. And we have tampon lover. I'm disappointed. I don't like that one. Well, let's just say it out loud. We'll see what happens. Tampon, tampon lover, lover, tampon lover. No, uh-uh. Reject, not reject. I know. Oh, well. That's okay. That's okay. We can pick as many as we want. We're in charge. Okay. okay. So. Prick diddler. Oh, my goodness. I, I do like that. Prick diddler. Okay, so let's say it out loud, everyone. Come together. Brick diddler, brick diddler, brick diddler. Notice how it feels. Notice how it feels. Yeah. It's very poetic. It's so good. I really don't think I would hate anything that um had diddler in it. Uh-huh. Diddler. You know, I like the person saying that allows for something else. Yeah. And I feel like this is too. This one is too. And I feel like there's a sense of amusement in it too. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it makes me laugh just uh just it just I don't know, it's almost a joyful feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, cool. Remember we're not we're not gearing these towards bullying. This is just for your own personal use. Okay. I feel like I go to the same spot every time. Douche slammer. Now this, <laughs> this one works for me. This uh -huh. works for me. I tend to like to use douche. I typically go to douche bag, but douche slammer is nice. So let's repeat it three times. Do slammer, do slammer, do slammer. Feel it? Feel it? Do slammer, do slammer. What do you feel about that one? I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? Do slammer, do slammer. I really like that. When I say that one, there is like a real somatic. It's like all my veins kind of go like, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So really notice like how it feels because that will give you a sense. Like when you can feel it and when you hear it out loud, then it kind of gets into your library of cursing. I like cursing for that.
Okay. You guys get to see it first. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't, I, the joy, the ecstasy, this is ecstasy. Scrotum this is what booger. ecstasy means, people. Scrotum booger. Scro let's say it out loud three times. Scrotum, scrotum booger. booger, scrotum booger, scrotum booger. Honestly, not sure I've ever been happier with one. This one sends me into like orgasmic <laughs> levels of happiness. happiness. Scrotum booger. You only need to say that once. Oh my gosh. Please tell me what you think of this one. Who else is finding that this one is like at, you know, Olympic levels of ecstasy swearing? Please respond. I love it so much. That is, I don't know if I can pull another one after that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We can use it anywhere. We can use it anywhere for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I really, like, I feel like. I can't tell if I, it's like I just had like a hot fudge sundae, like something really delicious. Like, it's amazing. Oh, wow. And you know, your energy is what brings that. So you can take credit for scrotum booger too. Yeah, because you know, you being here, you know, it, fuels the energy of our picking so yeah. awesome job um so now we go we have two more things the next thing is we pull a card for the week so this is pulling a card they're all random you know vintage recipes that hold the universal laws of love and consciousness and you know we'll receive this message it'll give you sometimes there's a practice i never know because i i i just listen i receive the messages as they come in and then we'll close with an affirmative prayer an affirmative prayer super power for for creating anything that you want in your life so awesome i'm gonna go ahead so if you have a specific thing that you want insight on right now is the time to bring that into your awareness what is that prayer that you you know want insight on need energy towards like and if there's anything that's coming up for you you can you even post it in the comments because sometimes that can really help too so while you're you know really bringing your awareness to whatever it is within your body and being that wants attention then we will shuffle this is how i shuffle this is clara clara by the way i that's her name i've been using clara i need to switch decks next week um and how many of you are inviting your friends to uh church please invite people if you find this helpful who can you share this with so that we can grow our community Okay, so now I'm just going to go in. Do you want to hold it and pick a card? Let's see if I can. No, I'm just going deep on that one. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, give me a minute, but just so you know, we are talking about frozen custard today mm. yep mm. yep frozen custard so one second because as i just bring my attention to it it becomes something okay so there they're making me uh, aware of something that's happening in the field with a lot of a lot of you apparently, um, where there's there is kind of a stop. 
like where you feel like you have to stop, like either you're stopping out of fear or doubt or, um, or kind of feeling sort of paralysis, maybe, you know, listening to the news and, and being in all of the media that's happening right now. And that they're saying, you know, really, they're naming that that's happening and they're inviting you to something different. So right now, anywhere where you are noticing that sense of a stop, it may feel like, um, it may feel like a barrier. It may feel like a wall. It may feel like um, kind of a paralysis feeling in your body. Whatever you're noticing right now, they're inviting you to bring your attention to it. So you're gonna sense it in your field. You'll sense it sort of in or around your body. And as you sense it, you may even notice that it has a quality to it. You know, it may feel like a brick wall. It may feel like a steel plate. It may feel like an energy or, or an electricity or something else. Or you may just have a sense of, you know, that stop. Wherever that is, bring your focus to it. And as you do right now, in the community and with all of us here today, we're inviting the divine, we're inviting that essence of you to now turn up. So as you are aware of where the stop is, you also are aware of your own energy, that essence of you that is connected to the divine. And as you notice that, connection to the divine, the energy that is you, it naturally expands out. It naturally moves out. It naturally dissolves all limitations. It destroys, it uncreates any of these places that have built up from fears, from lies. And it opens up the space to actually being able to feel the greater space of you. So just start noticing right now as your own energy, that satnam, that essence of you, that sweetness, that dessert, that gift from the kitchen is expanding and growing and naturally moving away all the untruths, all the lies, all the fears, because the fears are lies. And just noticing as you do, you move into this lighter space. So starting to sense and perceive the spaces of lightness that are created as you bring yourself to it. They're showing it like fresh, made whipped cream, that lightness, that fluffy, that white, that bright. You may even taste the creaminess of it. And now from here, receive yourself in this space. You may even see yourself moving through that space where there was once an obstacle, a block, a limitation. Just in your mind's eye, sense the movement that is naturally happening in this expanded space. And as you do, you may even be aware of what you're drawn to. You may be aware of what's calling your attention that you couldn't see before. And moving to whatever is calling your attention that you couldn't see before and receiving that, receiving that like a stream of colored energy, 
noticing the color and quality and where it's coming into your body, receiving it, allowing it, updating your body and being to receive more, more of you, more of consciousness, more of divine, more of the universe here in service of your higher good. Receive it, receive it, receive it. You don't need to know what it is, unicorns. Receive it, receive it, receive it, and see from here how good it feels to be able to have something different here. Move your body, let your body play in it, really literally move your body, play in it, have some fun, move around your space, maybe skip, dance, twirl. Woo, receive it all. That is the divine message in healing from frozen custard that just allows you to move into that creaminess, the smoothness, the whippiness of you and all that is here right now, that's all that's here right now that is meant for you. There's nothing that can keep you from that. So how was that? How did that feel? What did you notice? Please share. What are you noticing right now? One word, pop it into the comments. Love to see it. Share what it is that your body is noticing right now. And guess what? You get to move in a different way this week using whatever this sensation is as the place you make your decisions moving forward this week. Smiles, oh yay, so glad. So great. Who else is here? Who are you? I want to see who you are. Lightness. Okay, great. Clara's. <laughs> I love that. Clara's frozen custard breakthrough. Freedom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tranquility. Oh, I love that, Michelle. Yeah. So, you know, naming it is going to be really helpful right now just to have some sort of like, you may, you may name it like whipped cream, you may name it, you know, pink, like whatever it is that, um, you know, because it's, it's way beyond any word. Let me just tell you that, like what that was is way beyond any one specific word. But if, it, if there's some way that you can have something that anchors you back to this, this week, it's going to be really powerful. So we are ready to do our closing. And we're just so grateful that all of you join us each week. And please share this. Please share this with friends. Invite more people. You know, we do this as, you know, a gift to you. And certainly, you know, if there's anything bigger happening in your world, emotionally, spiritually, or um physically because you know larry does a lot of things with body stuff i do things with relationship stuff and healing at the deepest level possible so you know reach out to us you can also reach out and get a private reading these are really fun to do that's something that you know you want to message me about and we can do that and then a little just plug for something that's coming up really soon i'm going to be doing 30 days of trusting yourself in love and life. It's going to be 30 days of teachings kind of like this, where we'll do practice or meditation, or it's not going to be this long every day, but a 30-day practice of trusting yourself. And to be a part of that, it's $108, but message me to register. It's going to be a private group. We'll just show up every day. And I promise you, when you do something every day in a row, you are going to notice how your consciousness changes. And the thing that hoses us, us up, hoses us up more than anything is when we can't trust ourselves. And we can't trust those whispers. We're not able to see them or, you know, we're living in fear and doubt. This is going to be a life-changing 30 days. So anyway, let's close with a powerful 
um, affirmative prayer. You can bring your hands here or to your heart. And just as you breathe and arrive, just acknowledging this amazing circle, this unicorn pasture of love that we, we join together in each week to share the non-conventional gospels and text that comes from all that is the universe. That's the universe that's divine, that is oneness, God, goddess, guru, whatever you want to call it, fairy, unicorn, mermaid, I receive it all. And knowing that in all of that energy that you and I are not separate from it. We are part of it. In fact, we are the unicorn pasture itself, that we are an expression of the miraculous energy of creation. And as I acknowledge that I am and you are that expression, then I remember that Anything can be created from this space and that there's no such thing as limitation. And anywhere where there's a fear or a doubt, right now we just explode it. We just say right now, scrotum diggler, you're gone out of my life. Just gone. Because we're serious about Claiming the happiness, the joy, the wealth, the love, the miracles that are all around us, no matter what's on the news, that we can create an amazing life. I'm choosing that, I'm choosing that, I'm choosing the lightness, I'm choosing that sweetness, I'm choosing that gift of me that is like fabulous fudge in the kitchen. And thank you, thank you, thank you, divine. And as I am here, I speak all that I am calling into manifestation, whether it's money, whether it's housing, whether it's love, whether it's connection, whether it's creativity, whether it's a new job, it could be anything. But right now, as I speak it, Know that your prayer has been answered. And feeling how good it feels to know that as I ask, I receive. And feeling the joy of having that creation already here. The giddiness, the sweetness, the, the cuteness overload that comes when we look at baby animals. It's like that. Oh! Yay. And just putting that prayer into the universe, you can say your own prayer out loud right now. What you're claiming, I am claiming, I receive, I allow right now. Fill in the blank. Feeling the gratitude for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And knowing that it is done, it is complete. And so it is. Say it out loud, and so it is. And so it is. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I love seeing your comments. I really do. It's so it's so powerful to to share this with you and actually have the interactions. So thank you so much for that. And you know, for those of you who are in, well, you're in this group, obviously you're here. Just know tomorrow, Starting, I think later in the day, I will be doing five days free dating strategies and tips. More of them. I already did five, and that those those five dating strategies are sort of the commitments you need to make. If you haven't watched those, please go back because it's 
It's a really powerful five-day series. This week, I'm starting another five-day series that will be more dating strategies for you to create phenomenal unicorn kind of love, the kind of love you never thought could exist, but it does. And it doesn't matter what's happening in the world for you to actually be the creator of your life in amazing relationships. Um, there's so much magic here right now. So any last words? I love all you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a great Memorial Weekend, Memorial Day. Love all of you. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, Candy from the Kitchen Perfect Sermon, Big Heartfelt Love and Appreciation. Thank you yeah. all. Okay, bring your friends next week, invite them, and we'll see you same time, same place next Sunday for more more Unicorn Church. Bye. Bye.